Brace yourselves because today, we're diving into something that's going to give your AI adventures a major upgrade. Ever felt overwhelmed with pip installs, conda setups, and GitHub clones? Well, say goodbye to all that, because we're talking about one-click installer for AI tools. This program, it installs and runs any AI engine you want, no, really, any, with just one magical click. But hey, it doesn't stop there. This bad boy is like an autonomous PC that's alive. It coordinates all its AI engines to act, react, and even evolve. It's like installing a mini brain inside your computer. Insane, right? So how does it work? It's as easy as downloading and installing the program. This gem will automatically install all those pesky prerequisites like Python, pip, git, you name it. And get this, you don't even have to dabble in the command line. Your mouse is the wand, and each click is a spell. Now, let's kickstart this AI party. First up, we need to download the app. Let's head over to the website. The program is called Pinocchio, and as you can see, this program will allow you to install all of these AI tools with one click. They have an extensive list of AI tools to choose from, all of which before would require multiple steps to install. So let's head back up to the top of the page and click that download button. As you can see it is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. In this video, since I have Windows, I'll be downloading the Windows installer. Download the zip file and save it. I'll be downloading mine into my D drive. I already made a folder called Pinocchio, so this is where I'll install the program. Now, extract the zip file and you should have the .exe file. We no longer need that zip file, so let's delete it. If you're worried about viruses, etc., let's head over to virustotal.com. Do a quick scan and looks like we are good to go. A window will pop up with a default path to install Pinocchio. As I mentioned, I'll be installing mine in D drive in a folder called Pinocchio. So I'll set my path accordingly and click setup. It will install all the major prerequisites like Python, pip, git, etc. Let the installer do its thing. It can take a while. Once the installer is done, you'll see a launch button. Go ahead and click launch. Now that we are in the app, let's take a look at some of the AI tools that we can install. Just in the featured section there are so much AI tools such as Face Fusion, Dense Diffusion, Comfy UI, Audio LDM2, Audio Web UI, Animate Diff, Stable Diffusion, and so much more. The list goes on. With the endless possibilities it makes it hard to choose which to install first. I already covered installing AudioCraft in my last video, however, I never got around to installing AudioCraft Plus. The non-plus version of AudioCraft only had music gen however, the plus version has audio gen which crafts sound effects. So let's give this a shot and install AudioCraft Plus with Pinocchio one-click installer. First click on install, then download. It will download the files needed then click install. The install process will take some time, however, it shows you all the command lines it's using. This is usually the part of the manual install where we need to open command window and type specific commands like pip install, etc. It's automating the process. So let it install and do its thing, it can take some time. And there will be times you'll think it's frozen. It's most likely not frozen, best to walk away and do something while it installs. When the install is complete, it will pop up an install success window. Click done. And now we will see AudioCraft Plus installed on our Pinocchio dashboard. Click start and it will load AudioCraft Plus. Loading will take some time, and when it's done it will open AudioCraft Plus inside our web browser like this. And just like that, boom, you've got it. AudioCraft Plus is installed, launched, and ready to go. Let's do a quick test with AudioCraft Plus. Since this is the first time I am running this, if you open Pinocchio to see what's happening in the background, you'll notice that it's downloading some of the checkpoints required to run AudioCraft Plus. Once this process is done, future generations shouldn't take as long. Okay cool. Let's listen to the output. Awesome. Also, I'll add this parameter to the end of the URL and port number like this and hit enter to view this in dark mode. Now I'll try the audio gen section. Again, since this is the first time generating in the audio gen section it will need to install the safe tensor files as the first run. Okay cool. Let's listen to the output.
The prompt I used was waves crashing at the beach. So there you have it folks, Pinocchio in action. I mean, just look at how we breeze through the installation of AudioCraft Plus. No command line, no manuals, no drama. And we even had time for a chill test run. But let's zoom out for a second. Look at what we've covered. Pinocchio isn't just an installer, it's a powerhouse. It makes me wonder, what else can we do? We've barely scratched the surface. Imagine a world where you spend more time crafting incredible AI projects and less time installing and debugging. That's the Pinocchio universe, and let me tell you, it's as game-changing as it sounds. And remember, Remember, this is just one app. Pinocchio's extensive library has a smorgasbord of AI tools to mess around with. What's going to be your first pick? So, the next time you find yourself caught in the vortex of endless installs and confusing command lines, just remember, there's a Pinocchio out there that's got your back. Feeling pumped? I know I am. Make sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss out on more exciting stuff like this. Until next time, keep pushing those AI boundaries.